going on everybody? It is great to see you. I'm sure some people are going to be surprised by the title of this video. I'm a little bit surprised myself to be honest. Now, if you follow keto to a T, if you're very passionate about it, you're probably not gonna like this because I'm gonna take a very, very different approach where I'm gonna try keto 50% of the time. I eat four meals a day, so two meals keto, two meals regular, and let me tell you why. I feel like I really need carbs pre and post workout and then the other meals where I'm just sitting in my office all day, I don't really need carbs because what I find is I get lethargic and I get tired and I think that might be one of the reasons. Also, I have these sugar cravings in the middle of the day so I think cutting that out is actually going to help. Now for me, pre-workout is gonna be right before bed, which I know is kind of interesting, and then post-workout is gonna be breakfast. Cause you guys know I am never giving up my oatmeal and PES protein powder. Now because I am a fortune teller, I know that I'm gonna get two criticisms right off the bat, so let me address those really quick. The first is gonna be following this method is not gonna put me in ketosis. Very, very true. That is not going to be my goal, which is ironic because I'm gonna be using the keto diet, which actually, Maybe this would just be considered a low-carb diet. I don't know what you want to call it. It doesn't have a name, guys. I am making this up, so just let me let me have my name, okay? The second criticism is going to be I eat too much protein, not enough fat. But the reason for that is you have to keep in mind, I'm going to be eating carbs the rest of the day, two of those meals. So I can't just have 150 grams of fat or else I want to be able to fit those carbs in, if that makes sense, you know? So my week one lunches are gonna be made up of 96 four ground beef, some cauliflower rice, and some sunflower seeds. That's gonna put me at about 550 calories or so. You guys know I don't eat a whole lot during the day. I prefer to eat most of my food at night, but that will at least give me the macro breakdown that I like. And the issues I see with this going forward are gonna be one, I'm not gonna wanna meal prep every day so or every week, so I might have to figure that out. I might just have to suck it up. The other is I don't like to leave my desk for lunch, which this is gonna require me to do, but if I can get past those two things, we can, uh, we can make this happen. One of my favorite foods of all time, cheesy eggs. I have a feeling I'm gonna be eating a lot of eggs, which is fine with me. Dirt cheap, tastes really good, easy to make. We also have some chicken thighs. I actually turned on the oven for this. Are you guys impressed? They taste a lot better than chicken breast. Brussels sprouts, and this is gonna be dinner. The beauty of this strategy is gonna be eating tons of carbs right before bed, fuel me up for my workout tomorrow morning. So we have cream of rice or cream of wheat, one or the other, with some PES protein powder and some pumpkin. One sleeve of rice cakes, a little bit of almond milk in there. So we will see how all this works. So do you guys notice anything different about me? New hair? No. Did I actually make some gains? No. Maybe I actually made some friends? If you guys don't know the answer, it's because you've been skipping videos. Come on, the most traumatic event of my young adult life. When I was in California last week, I lost my headphones. Well, as you can see, we're, we're back in commission now, so everything is all good. But I haven't worked legs in over a week, so this should be fun. All right, so this is gonna be the last time I talk to you guys until I hit up my working sets. I notice that a lot of times I take way too long from set to set, so I've really been trying to control that variable of rest periods. I notice not only am I able to get through more volume, I just feel like I get a better workout. Now, if I'm on a strength day, I'll take a little bit longer. In between these sets, I'm gonna take about 60 seconds in between each one. It sucks so good. There's nothing quite like the endorphin release you get after you finish up a higher rep set of legs, especially when you shorten those rest periods. It sucks so much when you're doing it, and then you finish and you just feel so accomplished. But we're not done yet. We have to move on to one of my least favorite exercises in the entire world, lunges. Now there's something very, very specific here that I want you to pay attention to. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, guys. It's kills. I don't know how well you can tell there though, but as, as you see, this Rides compression gear I've been teasing you guys with for the last few weeks finally released. If you guys want to pick any up, Travis saves you 10%. As you guys know, I think you'll really like it. Feeling good so far. It's way too early to tell if this little experiment is going to have any kind of impact on my gym sessions, but you know I will keep you guys posted. One of the most challenging things I think is going to be if I, if I don't make my own food and I want to go out for lunch, what am I going to be able to eat that doesn't have any carbs essentially? We'll see. You guys already know there's one place that you can go to for anything. Hey. So very original stuff here. We got a whole food salad, which I love. This almost looks like a face, doesn't it? We got the eyes, we got the messed up mouth. But anyway, we got some ham, eggs. You guys are probably worried about my cholesterol over here. And then we got some peppers, some zucchini, some radish, some spinach. I would say in total, this is probably about 30 carb. I would say like 30 protein and like 10 fat. I don't know if you guys are even ready to see this dessert yet, but we got some baked salmon. How amazing. I didn't even want the cookies or the sushi or the pizza or any of that at all. No, I just I just wanted my salmon, man. This whole lunch was $15. It's <laughs> freaking ridiculous, but it's okay because I saved five cents for not having a bag. Damn. I'm not going to lie. That is some good salmon. I mean, it better be for $20 a pound. Every time I go to Whole Foods, I feel like I'm at LAX. There's a very distinct look of the people that go there. They all look rich and famous and important, and that's probably what they want you to think, even though they probably suck. That's very judgmental. But it's, it's so different than the people that work there. They're like hipsters, cool, nice people. I don't understand how that works. But anyway, I'm headed back to work. We'll check in with you guys later. So for tonight's low carb meal, we essentially have a turkey and cheese on top of an omelet because I suck at making omelets. So I figured we just throw it on top and you can't mess it up, right? And how about that product placement? If you're looking for some healthy fats, make sure to get your omegas and you can always save 30% using Travis at PEScience.com. Okay, so week one of the experiment is done. It was not too bad at all. It was actually kind of enjoyable, just trying something new, you know, something fresh. Obviously, after one week, you're not gonna notice any significant changes. It's probably not gonna be that challenging. Anyone can stick to most things for a week, you know. So can I sustain this? I think so, except for social aspects, like if my buddy calls, like, hey, you wanna go get sushi? Well, no, I can't get sushi because I can't eat sushi until dinner, or after dinner. No, 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 that's not gonna happen. So yeah, I'll bend the rules for that, but for the most part, it hasn't been too challenging, you know, just taking out carbs from lunch and dinner, replacing them with other macronutrients. So we'll see, if you guys want me to keep documenting this, just let me know, we'll see how my body reacts. I have noticed that I've been getting some better pumps in the gym. I don't know if that's because, well, it could be placebo, it could be because I'm back loading all my carbs, or it could be because PS 30% link in description, that high volume has got me going pretty well. I don't know, but I do want to cover the ebook. I know you guys have been hearing a lot about it. A lot of people have been asking about it. It's not going to be a hard copy. This is just for me. It's done, as you can see. I'm really excited for you guys to see it, but I just got to figure the website stuff out. I did not know that that would be so complicating. So I got to get, you know, the payments and how, how to accept payments, all that stuff, you know. But if you guys are excited, leave a comment down below. Also, as I mentioned earlier, the Rise compression gear, super, super nice. These are the shorts. They also have the pants. I think you guys will really like it. I could model this for you, but that'd be super, super weird. And I'm not about that life. I'm sure there's a lot of other channels you can get that. But, um... Please continue liking these videos, guys. I've noticed as my likes have gone up, my channel has started to grow again, so that really does help out my videos, help out my channel disproportionately. You guys clicking that button does a lot for me, so thank you guys. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please, again, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. That does help me out a lot. If you're a new subscriber, it's great to have you here. I look forward to, oh, one more thing. This weekend is a big weekend. Rich homie Corey, is getting his first tattoo. I'm gonna document the whole thing. I wanna make almost like a short film documentary and I know it's not gonna do well because I'm not gonna be holding a cheeseburger in front of my face, which is kind of weird, but I'm gonna put a lot of time, a lot of energy into it, so it would mean so much if you guys would check that one out. So be on the lookout for that. I look forward to talking to you guys next time. Yeah.